What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about new companions being added into the game from older DLC zones. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky, where you can use code GRAVE at checkout to save 5% and Amazon Associates. I have a ton of stuff that I use every day when gaming, making YouTube videos. All that info is linked down in the description. All these items that I use every day might be something that you're interested in for yourself or maybe for a gift for Christmas. Uh, be sure to check that out. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit that sub button. Now when it comes to companions, we've talked about this in past videos. Either you like them or you don't. Either you use them or you don't use them. And that's kind of always going to be the case, I think, when it comes to ESO. But there's been a lot of players wanting uh, companions added into the game, uh, new companions, but I think adding companions in from older DLC zones would be great. This has been a big topic of conversation within the community. If you wanted a darker style companion, you know, where you can run around and steal and murder and not really be, or not really going to get in trouble for, for it like you would with uh, Miri or Bastion, you could have something from the Dark Brotherhood or the Thieves Guild DLC. You could even have some added in, maybe from Bardenfell, Somerset. You could go back to any zone really in the game and probably add some type of companion in. Now, while this would be a great idea, I'm not sure if Zoss will ever add this many companions in. I think they're probably going to pick and choose what they decide to do. And the only issue with that is I don't think you're ever going to make everyone in the community happy, but that's kind of hard to do anyway because some people are going to want some from one particular zone while others may not. And of course, if you add too many into the game, it's going to kind of be like uh, our non-combatant pets. You'll have hundreds of them in your inventory or in your list to use, and you'll probably never rank the majority of them up because they do take forever to rank up. So that is one thing I think that, that definitely needs to be looked at. I think once you unlock these companions, you need to unlock them on all characters. And no matter what character you're playing on, if you have multiple characters, they rank up across the board between all of your personal characters that you have. Because having to unlock them and rank them up on each individual character is an absolute pain because they're a grind to, you know, get ranked up anyway. But overall, I think adding uh, different, you know, different style uh, companions from these different DLC zones that we have would be a really cool thing. I know a lot of people out there want to see this. I still think it'll be tied to that kind of, I guess, what people, what a lot of people would say a paywall uh, because you're going to have to own the Blackwood DLC. I don't think that's ever going to change. I think you're always going to have to own that Blackwood DLC in order to have access to companions. Kind of like the same uh, thing when it comes to having the access to jewelry crafting. You have to own the Somerset DLC. So that probably will still stand, I would assume. But I do think it would be a neat thing to have these different companions from these different areas. Because you can make some uh, really cool, unique companions just in general. Different races, different personalities, of course a lot of different you know, conversation lines you could have with your companion. Now, if Zoss is really going to dive deep into these companions, I would really be surprised, like I said, if they go too far into it. Uh, I think, you know, we'll have other things added into the game in the future. Hopefully it's going to be, you know, new, uh, maybe weapon skill lines, probably new characters or new classes at some point. But I do think they probably can use this companion idea every couple years to add a few new companions in the game. Or they could go all the way with you know, this just kind of being an extra thing that you get with the DLC every year. You know, you'll get whatever the DLC is going to come with, plus you'll get the option to have some new companions as well. Anyway, get, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know where you would like to see. What old DLC zones would you like to see some of these companions come from? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.